Welcome to Zeki TV. And today we are going to create this room new effect in Movavi Video Editor Plus. And it is very easy. Just follow me. Okay. Okay, so now I'm inside a Movavi Video Editor Plus. So the version I'm, I'm currently using is 2020. Uh, by the way, the version 21 is almost the same, just uh, some minor change. Uh, if you want to try this software, uh, it is free to download and you can try it for 7 days. And also I put a 15% discount coupon code at the link in the description. So be sure to check it out. And this video is not sponsored by Movavi, okay? Just my tutorial. Uh, and this is, the, this is the sample timeline. So let's explain a little bit. Uh, down here, I have a, a voiceover. So this voiceover, you can uh, you can record the voiceover directly in Movavi Video Editor Plus uh, here at the record audio. So the voiceover recording function is very nice and I love this feature in this software. Okay, and here uh, we have uh, we have a, a video of a girl, a woman in uh, yellow uh, yellow shirt. Uh, so it's it is under the uh, the room news uh, room news layer, and on top uh, we have uh, this animated uh, girl, animated woman, also in green screen, and this one is also a green screen video. And top here we have a, a title box uh, say breaking news and Jackie TV. So Movavi Video Editor Plus is also a very affordable and easy to use video editor. It is let you add multiple track on the timeline and you can uh, overlay this uh, one track above uh, above others. All right, so now I'm going to uh, delete all this thing and show you step by step. Uh, let's delete everything. So the first one you need to. Uh, drag and drop your footage onto the timeline. So I'm go back to the media bin. Uh, by the way, in the media bin, you just right click and add file to add all this stuff into the media bin. Uh, so in the media bin is here, and uh, we can uh, have sound, music, and sample video and background effect package. All this thing is included when you install Movavi Video Editor Plus on your computer, right? And go to the media bin. Uh, first one, I want to use this one, green screen, and I just need to drag and drop it. Just drop it on timeline, and yeah, as you see here uh, on on the timeline, uh, we see here this is a video track and video track and video track, and this is audio track. Okay, so we should move it uh, to to this layer, uh, to this track, to the top track, and the second thing we need to remove the green screen, right? Uh, we go to more tools and you can see uh, we have video editing uh, effect and audio editing effect but we go to uh, video editing effect and we just see the chroma key here so just uh, select the chroma key and then uh, the effect will be applied to the current clip and then you have uh, the color picker and you choose uh, an area to remove the green you just select this one and it's nice right so I think Movavi Video Editor Plus the chroma key feature is very, very powerful because we just select the color and it's removed completely the green from our video. Uh, let's see like this. And of course, and of course, uh, if the, the green screen video is not very good, for example, if you need to uh, increase the tolerance or reduce the tolerance or increase the edge, the thickness or or noise or something like that you can just walk around with this uh, this parameter okay uh, for now I'm just uh, leave it like this and the second thing we need a room news right so we go back to the media bins here uh, and I'm sorry we go back to the uh, to this uh, import button uh, and now we go to the sample video so at a sample video when you install Movavi video editor plus you have this one new flash and you need to drag and drop it on the timeline okay so just put it uh, down here at the bottom and now you see uh, you have the girls uh, speaking at the center of the screen now you want to move it to the left because uh, you are presenting uh, with a tv on the right okay and to do that uh, we select select the layer here select the girls layer and we go to more tools here and now we, uh, we are going to select overlay uh, at the overlay, uh, we can uh, just select overlay and then you, uh, we can move it to. Now we can select it and move it to the left 
uh, like this one and you can also resize it and actually it will apply the picture in picture effect in your video okay so just make sure that if you apply picture in picture and then you can resize and uh, rescale and also move the layer uh, with the effect with the picture in picture effect okay uh, like that uh, we have this this one nice right uh, but the, um, uh, the video the green screen video is a little bit uh, longer than uh, than the new flash here so I need to copy and paste the new flash uh, to make it the same duration with the uh, green screen video so to do that uh, we press ctrl C on our keyboard on Windows and you can also press ctrl uh, command C on uh, Mac and then command V or control V to pass it uh, down here but sometimes sometimes when you have this detect uh, detect track uh, enable then you need uh, you have to uh, copy and, and paste both of them and you can just simply disable it uh, disable it uh, we have a link here and you can just disable it so that you can just copy and paste uh, one track at a time okay and now I'm going to trim it uh, to have the same duration with this one okay and there we go we have this uh, the first one now we need a uh, we need a TV video right and to do that is very easy go back to our media and go to a media bin again and now uh, I have this sample video and just drag and drop it onto the timeline and we can then uh, we can just uh, drag and drop this uh, all this video up one track uh, down here and here and then uh, this one will be at the, the bottom track and we can you know, use the same apply the same picture in picture uh, picture in picture um, uh, effect for this one and then now we can just resize it to the side of the TV here uh, we have the TV here but it's not done yet uh, because if we just uh, play the video now it will not show show up in this um, show up in the screen because uh, this layer is under this layer and this layer has a green screen uh, let's play it like this so you see we need to activate the chroma key for this layer okay so to do that we just select it and then uh, chroma key and then pick the color and that's done right and we do the same with this one uh, just pick the color and that's done and the last thing I want to do is to uh, copy this this one uh, let's go back here and copy and paste this one so it has the same duration uh, with the room news so to do that press ctrl C and then uh, go here uh, ctrl V okay so it's there's a link between uh, this clip and this clip uh, so we press ctrl Z and then we unlink it and now we can copy and paste this one uh, easily right so remember we have a link here a link icon here so whenever we have uh, this link um, just unlink okay so now we have this one okay uh, the last thing we need to, to add is the track, a title track, right? To add a title track or text or something in Move RV Video Editor Plus, you select this one, uh, title. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this one, uh, this simple one. Uh, we can just uh, drag and drop it down here at the position uh, you want. Okay, and then uh, release your mouse. So the title track will link to all this. Uh, clips on the timeline uh, to see it better you see here the link here so you can unlink it also okay now you can uh, just adjust the title uh, by double click on the title directly on the preview window and change it to breaking news okay uh, it's too big and now you can resize it uh, maybe 100 uh, 100 should be okay okay and then you can uh, uh, just click on uh, on the preview window and move it to where you want uh, at this one we can call this Jackie TV yeah nice right and you can change the forms and size and you can add uh, outline or background to your text uh, right here 
and this is the finished product breaking news and the final thing you need to export the video and of course if you are on free trial version uh, there are some limitations such as a, a two minute video and a logo or something like that uh, but don't worry just purchase the software and you are good to go and you can export in full HD and 4k and without watermark or no time restriction okay that's enough for today's tutorial thank you very much for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment section below bye and see you again